What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn about hugging face and specifically we're going to cover the question, what is hugging face? So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to talk about hugging face in this video today. I wanna to cover the question, what is hugging face? For those of you guys who don't know about it, who don't know why you should care about it, what you can find on it, why it's relevant for machine learning engineers. Obviously, it's going to be a foundational video mainly targeted towards people new into the generative AI field because most of you, if you're working on a uh, on generative AI on a regular basis. You know about Hugging Face, you've used it in the past. But for those of you who don't know about it, I wanna cover the basics. I wanna show you what this platform is about. Now, Hugging Face is basically a central hub, you could say a landing page, a community for machine learning and for artificial intelligence. You can find models, data sets, and so on on this platform. It's basically like GitHub, but instead of having general code bases, it has machine learning models and data sets primarily. So you can go to huggingface.co and you can go to the models uh, page here and you can find a lot of different models. Uh, to be precise, you can find uh, around 740,000 models here and you can also filter them by family or type. So for example, maybe I'm interested in a text to image model. I wanna generate images based on a text prompt and you can see I have a bunch of different models that I can um, use here. And the good thing about this is with Hugging Face, you can easily use these models locally in Python without having um, to do a lot of work when it comes to deployment. So let's say, for example, I want to use this Runway ML Stable Diffusion V15. I can just go to the model. I can look at the model card. I can get a description. I can get sample code that I can easily copy, paste, and use right away. Uh, and I can scroll down to see some more information about the model, to see also some benchmarks, probably. Yeah, there you go, some benchmarks. Um, and for every model, you have a different model card with information, benchmarks, and so on. You can also go to the files directly if you want to. You can also go to the community discussions. But the interesting thing is that you can just go ahead, open up a terminal, install a package, which is most of the time either diffusers or transformers. So let's install both of them. Um, and in addition to that, you usually also want to have Torch, so PyTorch installed. Um, and once you have these packages, you can easily just go copy paste this code here, uh, go into your Python development environment, open up a Python file, for example, main PY, copy paste this. And now you can see, uh, this is the code I need to run stable diffusion locally. Of course, you need to have the proper hardware because you're not running this on the hugging face cloud, you're running this on your system, which means you're getting the model, but you're running the uh, running it on your GPU as you can see here, pipe to CUDA. So I'm running this on my 3060 Ti. Um, and when I run this, uh, what's basically happening is it loads a pipeline, uh, it loads the model from hugging face. And when it's done, it basically just generates an image based on the prompt here, a photo of an astronaut riding a horse on Mars, which is the default prompt. I can of course change that. Um, but this is what hugging face is all about. You pick a model that you like, you pick a model that you need, and you just use the diffusers package, you use the transformers package or some other package to just use the model. As you can see now, I have a new image here, uh, which is an astronaut riding a horse on Mars. Uh, I can of course change that. So let's do something like skydiving uh, with sunset. Let's see if that works. And this is an example of using the diffusers package. Now, while this is working, I can also go to something else. Let's go for um, a basic language model. Let's go for the uh, BART large CNN from Facebook here. Uh, and I can use this to summarize some text. So for example, here, again, copy paste the code. Uh, let's look at the image once it's done. Oh, actually, it has the same file name. Yeah, okay, this is skydiving with the sunset doesn't look too good. But this is how you can use a model easily, then I can also go ahead, replace this with the new code transformers pipeline summarization task and I'm using the model Facebook Bart large CNN so you can see all I have to do is I have to define a pipeline and I can have uh, I have to pass the model Facebook Bart large CNN then I can add some text here I can summarize it and when I run this it's going to use this generative or this, this transformer based AI model uh, to summarize the text of this article so Actually, in this case, I didn't pass a GPU. So this might be a problem in terms of efficient efficiency. So let's go and say 
device equals CUDA, then it should work faster, I think. Yeah, I mean a little bit. And you can see we get a summary. Um, then maybe another thing that we can look at is a text to speech model. So we can go to um, speech five TTS from Microsoft. Again, just copy paste the code. Again, we're using the transformers package. We're also using data sets, we're loading data sets from um, from hugging face because we also have this tab here data sets where you can explore a lot of different data sets for a lot of different tasks. So for example, again, let's go to um, text to image and I have these different data sets that I can use here. Um, and you can also look at the data set card having the information describing the features, I can look at the data set in the viewer in the hugging face viewer um, to explore them in my browser here. As you can see, uh, so I can also load data sets using the data sets package here directly here, I think there's an import missing import torch. Uh, and we also want this to run on CUDA. So on my GPU, and uh, we want to generate some audio based on the text. So let's go and say subscribe to neural mine, run this. And then this is going to take the text, turn it into a sound file, which we can hopefully play. Um, subscribe to neural nine, there you go. subscribe to neural nine, there you go, it works. So this is how easily you can just specify models, use them, and then you can build your whole application around them. You can just say, okay, I want to have now a text to speech uh, model in my application, I just have to use this code and I have it, I can always do the same or I want to have stable diffusion ready, or I want to have the uh, text summarization or anything else that you can find on the model uh, page here on the models page here. Now another part of hugging face, which is kind of cool is the spaces where you can use models in the browser. So you don't need to deploy them locally, you can just use them in the cloud. For example, I can go and say stable to find stable diffusion three medium. And then I can just use this web application here, which is not running on my system, it's running actually um, on the cloud. So it's running on hugging face, I don't need to have a GPU for that. And I can play around with a model to to see how well it works. So I can say again, something like astronaut on the moon, which is not exactly the same as before, because we had I think astronaut. Uh, oh, actually, I mis misspelled that astronaut um, riding a horse on Mars was was the prompt, but let's see what happens now. We should hopefully get some decent image, even though I misspelled it. And I think I still have the same prompt that was misspelled. But there you go astronaut on the moon that that's actually very, this is actually very impressive. So let's see if we can get something more uh, specific. Let's go with um, let's go with something like a Python snake coding on a laptop in jungle. Now I don't know if this is going to just generate Python code or if it's actually going to generate a snake in the jungle coding on a laptop, but the accuracy, the quality of the images is kind of impressive. So let's see. Okay, no, this is not exactly what I wanted. But yeah, you can see it, uh, you can play around with the model here. Directly, you can also go with different models. So maybe we have something like I don't know if we have llama here. Uh, yeah, we have a llama 370 billion parameter chatbot. So I can say hello. What is hugging face? And you can see we can use these different models without having to deploy them without using our own GPU, you can play around with all the different stuff that you can find here in the browser directly, then you can go to the models, download it, uh, use it in your application, and you can train on these various data sets. So to summarize it, hugging face is basically a central hub, a landing page, a community for AI machine learning, very comparable to GitHub, just with a focus not on general code bases, but on AI related stuff. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video. And bye.